Paul Colossus here. Uh, I've got a question from a client who is looking to apply some dynamic ads in Facebook. And so this video is going to show how to set up a catalog on your Shopify account so that uh, in your Facebook ads account, you're able to dynamically adjust what your ads are doing. When you've logged into your Shopify account, you go down to apps and in apps, we're going to go to the app store. And once we've op opened up the app store, we're gonna search for Facebook uh, product feed, I think it is. Yes, product feed, there it is by Flexify. That's the, that's the app there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. It's a free app that allows um, Facebook and, and your Shopify account and all the products that you have uh, be able to, to coordinate properly. This is just the free app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to check off these three things and make sure that it, um, that it applies to all of the products and save it. Then I'm gonna grab this feed right here. This link is what I need to be able to set up the, um, the account, uh, the, the product catalog properly here. And to find the product catalog, again, in that top menu, you've seen me click on that many times, you hover over top of all tools and you're going to product catalogs. That opens up the first menu here. What we're going to do is that we're going to go to product feeds. We're going to add a product feed. And the feed name for this is, I'm just going to call it the store name, which is Nasty Lee. And then uh, the currency, we're going to call it Canadian dollars. And what you can have, you can do this two ways. You can upload a one single feed, so it would be a database of your product. Um, but what we're going to do is that we're going to do the scheduled reoccurring uploads. And so what this does is that it checks your feed on from that, that link that we got. It checks that, that link um, daily, hourly, whatever it may be. We're just going to go daily um, and we're going to do it at 3.04 uh, a.m. And then here is where I paste that feed URL. And here is where the username and password for your, for your Shopify account uh, can go in. Now this process takes quite a while and so you just want to let this screen hang out and uh, what I'll do is that I'll come back uh, when this is all complete so you can see what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so uh, we waited for about five minutes or so, 167 products got uh, uploaded into the feed. Uh, so now they are here in Facebook. We do have some warnings, just the product, uh, the Google product category was not defined when we created these products, um, but that's another video for another time. Um, so yeah, that's it, that's how it's set up. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely ask. We'll get them, we'll get them answered. Talk to you later.